Don in London, hello. And it's January 29th, 2009, almost at the end of the month. My video is all about recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour. Uh, my substance mainly was alcohol, my behaviour. Wherever it would go to try and get perf perfection, and uh, it was never so. Life is not about perfection, life is about living in the ever present, present moment of now and making the most of it, understanding what is going on around us. So, my videos, what, why, did, why do I do them? It's simply part of my meditation, if you like, to actually understand how I'm getting along in my recovery. So part of, part of my video is about my story, and part of my video is about what keeps me sober, and uh, what keeps me sober more than anything else is going to fellowship meetings of Alcoholics Anonymous. Because I meet people who are in the same boat, that is the recovery boat, uh, which sort of floats along on a sea of alcohol, which is around us on every street corner, well, every, wherever it is, I'm mixing my metaphors, but seriously, there is an ocean of alcohol out there, and it's available to everyone if they have a, a, if they have a real desire to get hold of it. And the trouble is, some of us are not very good with alcohol, and we're better off without it. I'm one of those, which is why I, I became an addict. You know, craving compulsive behaviour <coughs> and trying to blot out the reality of my life because often it was so painful I just didn't know what to do with it. So in these videos for January it's all been about powerlessness which is the first step of the AA programme. But before I share that I'll share the preamble which is shared at the beginning of every meeting I, I go to of the AA fellowship and it goes like this. Alcoholics Anonymous is a fellowship of men and women who share their experience, strength and hope with each other that they may solve their common problem and help others to recover from alcoholism. The only requirement for membership is a desire to stop drinking. There are no dues or fees for AA membership. We are self-supporting through our own contributions. AA is not allied with any sect, denomination, politics, organisation or institution, does not wish to engage in any controversy, neither endorses nor opposes any causes. Our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety. So, who is an AA? Just ordinary people who have one peculiarity, that is addiction problems, addiction to alcohol. And very often these days it's not just alcohol, it's drugs of various sorts, or behaviour as well. And part of my behaviour was all about trying to be perfect, or trying to be the person you wanted me to be, rather than actually finding out who I am really, and what may I do with my life, and be a part of, no, no bigger, no smaller than anybody else, just be a part of life. And uh, as I've often said, my psychiatrist said, Freud said, what we need in life are three elements, to love, to be loved, and have something useful to do. So part of my usefulness, hopefully, and from the feedback, thank you, is to keep on with the road of recovery and sharing experience, strength, and hope and how it goes. So I am a fan of AA. I've got to be because it saved my life. It saved my life and gave me another, another way to see a purpose, a purpose of being. And... You know, life happens, and I've got to be a big gap in me at the moment because the relationship has ended, and that's okay. What I don't need to do with the gap is fill it full of crap, rubbish, things which are superficial. I'd rather leave the gap open for more cherishing, uh, more cherishing, interesting things to do, which are about my life and making it work. So it's been difficult, and uh, I had a, a really tough time at the hospital yesterday seeing my psychiatrist and explaining what this gap felt like and it felt awful and I broke down because of it and that's a good thing because it means everything that happened meant a great deal so there's nothing wrong with breaking down absolutely nothing wrong it's recognizing why and what may I do so how am I feeling this morning in, in a way I feel pleased that I did break down that I needed and understand I need time to heal so the healing time will come and I need not try and rush it. The worst that all of us do is we're rushed into making decisions, decisions, and de decisions. And it's better often to respond to life than to react to it. And that's very much about the fellowship program as well. It's our response to living, how we respond and be a part of, no bigger, no smaller than anybody else. So, uh, powers over people, places, and things. Uh, what helps me keep an eye on what I'm up to? and on track is the daily reflections so I read these it's part of my morning meditation if you like and it says for January 29th the joy of sharing life will take on new meaning 
to watch people recover, to see the, them help others, to watch loneliness vanish, to see a fellowship grow about you, to have a host of friends. This is an experience you must not miss. We know you will not want to miss it. Frequent contact with newcomers and with each other is the bright spot of our lives. And that comes from AA's big book, page 89. It goes on to say, to know that each newcomer with whom I share has the opportunity to experience the, the relief that I have found in this fellowship fills me with joy and gratitude. I feel that all things described in AA will come to pass for them, as they have for me, if they seize the opportunity and embrace the program fully. And really the reason why I concentrated on powerlessness during the month of January is any newcomer coming into the program really needs to understand this thing of powerless over alcohol and life being unmanageable when we drink. And if we actually learn that we are powerless over alcohol and then adopt our behaviour which is not to drink just one day at a time and stay in a one day programme then we're on to a starting point of the 12 step programme and much humbug is talked about the 12 steps being uh, very hard to do actually they are not hard to do they are good things that anybody can do to make life work what fears us up is acknowledging where we've come from our history and what makes us able to change today. So if we acknowledge our history, which can be quite frightening, you know, all the things that alcohol helped us do, and how on earth are we going to be able to do that without that favourite substance in our life? And the simple answer is we get back to being what might be described as normal, not drinking and not trying to act out anymore, not, no more false bravado, less ego, less fear and less putting on a brave face. That's me. Those are the things, that's the, the positive I get out of it. So I get a bit more courage, faith and confidence in the truth of now. And uh, you know the program talks about God quite often and for me God is truth. That's a very good one because you can't argue with the truth and it keeps me trying to be open, honest and willing. And I'm also using, as Bill sees it, one of the co-founders of AA, their daily reading if you like and these are in no particular order but in the book so book number 50 number 13 the shared gift AA is more than a set of principles it is a society society not organization of alcoholics in action and that's action not standing still we must carry the message or else we ourselves come with it and those who haven't been given the truth may die so truth you know truth spiritual spiritual truth yeah God is love God is truth faith is more than our greatest faith faith is more than our greatest gift it's sharing with others is our greatest responsibility may we of AA continually seek the wisdom and the willingness by which we may well fulfill that immense trust which we which the giver of all perfect gifts has placed in our hands and the giver I guess that keeps on giving is God and the giver in this case for me is truth God is truth. So it hasn't been that hard for me <coughs> to understand one or two more of the steps. And step three in the program of AA uh, is quite a long passage actually, and this book is 12 by 12. And if I can just find the front page, if I have time, I do. Yeah, here we are. Step three made a decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God as we understood him. So the understanding of God is what your God is. It's your understanding of God, not anybody else's that counts. So you don't have to jump through a hoop and be uh, kowtowing to somebody else's understanding of a religious or a spiritual belief. You, thought you make your own spiritual belief in the program and the God of your understanding, which is why I emphasize God is truth, God is love. Those are the things which count for me, truth and love. And on page 40 of the 12 by 12 it says, uh, that is just where the remaining steps of AA, the AA program come in. Nothing short of continuous action upon these as a way of life can bring much, the much desired result, which is a sober, proper life, enriched by seeing the, the way life can be with truth. And there's another part, passage I would love to read to you right now, but I've run out of time, so maybe I'll just do another one, another video, but for now, that'll be